What's up, everybody? I'm here with Morbid Angel. Gentlemen, how are you doing? Excellent. Great. Bow to me painfully. Bow to me splendidly. You guys have been recording for a while. You're finishing up your latest record. Tell me about the sound, the record, and everything. Well, I think, um, generally, it's kind of a new sound. Um, with all of our stuff, we always develop and try to keep going further and further into this, like, uh, combining the orchestration with uh, old school kind of metal and bring it together and make um, you know new ideas and the techniques come forth and feeling and this is just how like kind, of, kind of a continuation of that I think. Well, where do, where do most of your influences for your lyrics and your music come from? I've always listened to my inner my inner voice, you know, go with my inner rhythm, and um, I think that you know when the the child is the one's most creative, has the most imagination, has not learned the limitations yet. Um, so, basically I try to come from that place. Our message has always basically been to think for yourself. When it all comes down to it, it's like, you know, if you don't use your own mind, someone's going to use it for you. So... It's definitely, we don't just accept other people's opinions. I mean, I refuse to conform to what other people say is true. I, I feel the need to, to find it out for myself, and I think these guys do as well. And like a cat, I've always wanted to know what your last name means. As it, I'm not I think too. Yeah. See, good thing I didn't say it because I would have that up. I first came across that that name, that title, in the Necronomicon. Everybody knows about that book. Okay, the Necronomicon is basically a book that combines Babylonian, Sumerian, Assyrian, and then H.P. Lovecraft. Right? They translate all the, the cuneiform stuff. Soft is, you know, look up Egyptian, you know, one of the gods in there, and, you know, the titles, you know, go around and whatnot. Not. Like, what kind of energy does it summon up? What does it do in your body? What does it do in your mind? And I came more from the Kabbalah, I came from Tony Robbins, I came from Deepak Chopra. You know, it's basically that. It's like, uh, damn, I got off the uh, whole thing. Your last name. Oh, okay. <laughs> what the hell does it mean, then? What does it mean? It means the blind idiot god of chaos. It's basically that. It's that's that's what it's about. Funny moments on tour. You meet somebody new. He makes you laugh. That's funny. You do something funny one day. You do something funny next Friday. You guys have been around since 1984, uh, pretty much helped pioneer the whole extreme music and death metal movement and have stayed completely true to yourself and your sound. How do you keep the intensity? I have a passion and a drive. I want to keep throwing out my best and hopefully that'll shake up the rest of the community and, you know, maybe people get some vibe out of it or maybe they'll say, wow, you know, that's really fast. I better, you know, go home and practice a little more. Or, wow, where the hell is this guy coming up with these ideas? You know, I want, I want people to come out and see a show and just be f***ing slammed. I want them to just be knocked to the back of the room and talk about it for the next six months until we come back again, and then I want to knock them down and kick them in their teeth, you know? I mean, not physically, but, you know, I, I, I really want, want it that. to be like that. Yeah, of I, I agree. Of course they do. That's, they, what, that's what we want. Do you guys remember any really funny tour stories that are very memorable to you, or music, or whatever? I think Pete's the only what? one that's really about the sex drugs <clears throat> and rock and roll, man. What are you asking? Funny Thanks moments? Thanks for paying what? attention, man. Funny <laughs> moments on tour? There's hundreds of them. I can't tell you just one. Well, give me a few then. Oh, fun, funny moments? This, I can't just tell you one. There's a lot of things. You meet somebody new, he makes you laugh, that's funny. You do something funny one day, you do something funny next Friday. So many funnies, I can just tell you one funny, especially one funny thing. So many funny things. Thanks. Yeah. That made it all real clear for me. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> all right, you guys, we got some cool ass here. This was not going to happen, but we're actually going to hear some stuff from the new album. But this one's basically just a good straight flow of energy and high velocity drums and things like that. And, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's, yeah, what, what, what else can we say? It's, it goes off. Well, let the music speak for itself, Punch. You press the button. I 
I forgot to say that. Out, man. Jesus. This new record's going to be instrumental. Just kidding. There will be vocals. They are savage. And the bass is great. And that's only one guitar per side, so it'll be stacked. It'll be thicker. It's just a, just a skeleton. That was great. Thank you, dude. And um, I'm honored that you did that for us. I cool. Really my am. pleasure. Oh.